Hi, it's Mark from Top Local Lead Generation. We're here with Bernie Pollock. Pollock Automotive in Vancouver, BC. 15 time winners of best auto repair in the city as voted by their customers. How are you doing, Bernie? Doing well. So brake fluid flushing. I gotta admit, when I when you first talked to me about this, I went, okay, this is, you know, typical car repair, you know, hoo-ha. <laughs> but that's quite a few years ago and you've turned me around. So many manufacturers recommend flushing. Why does it need to be done? Good question. Uh, why does it need to be done? Uh, basically because brake fluid is a hygroscopic fluid. Now that's a big word, uh, but what that means is it's a, it's a material that absorbs water out of the air. And brake fluid is one of those materials. Um, now I should, I should just qualify this. Most, there are some brake fluids that don't, but those are, you will not find those in any common car. People will put them in uh, vintage restored cars or something unusual. But for, for all intents and purposes, all all vehicle brakes with dot three, dot four, or dot four brake fluid are all hygroscopic, so they absorb water out of the air. The water will actually, you know, permeate through the rubber brake hoses, find its way through the rubber parts to the master cylinder. It, it's un, un, it seems unbelievable, but it does make its way in. And over time, water builds up in the brake fluid and makes the brake fluid less effective. Um, it, brake fluid also gets dirty. I mean, it gets it's subjected to a lot, subject to a lot of heat from from the braking process, so it eventually it, it gets uh, it deteriorates in a certain way, but mostly it's because of the water buildup. Uh, an example of why it's important to flush it is the um, dot three brake fluid, which is the most standard brake fluid. At um, when it's dry, considered dry, that's pure dot three brake fluid. It has a boiling point of two hundred five degrees Celsius or four hundred four hundred one degrees Fahrenheit. Three three point seven percent water, which is not a lot, will drop the boiling point down to 140 Celsius or 284 Fahrenheit, which is just a little bit above the boiling point of water. So, uh, and the brakes generate a tremendous amount of heat. So that deteriorates the brake fluid significantly. Uh, sorry. Often is the uh, brake fluid flush recommended? Usually every two to three years. Um, yeah, two to three years is the general time frame. Does it matter where I live? Well, all the man the manufacturers just just cater their maintenance schedules to uh, generally, but I think it does matter where you live. I mean, if you live in the desert, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of the desert. Anyway, somewhere in the United States, in, in dry de in the desert, and and you never see a lot of moisture, a lot of rain, you could probably go three or four years between flushing. But if you live somewhere extremely wet, like Vancouver, you know, two years is really the maximum you want to go between brake fluid flushes. Uh, you know, just there's just a lot of moisture in the air. I mean, in fact, like most of Canada, a lot of the United States gets a lot of rain, so you need to flush it every two, two to three years. What if you're driving a lot? Um, it doesn't seem to matter. Time seems to be more the factor with brake fluid flushing than mileage. And do all manufacturers recommend a flush? Well, there's the interesting thing. A lot of manufacturers don't. Um, it, it, the Europeans for a long time have recommended every two to three years. Some Japanese do, um, and the auto American manufacturer does, but a lot of them forget about it. And it seems very, it always seems very strange to me because it's the same fluid, the same braking system, the same climate, and some manufacturers care more than others. Uh, I think I was sort of reflecting on why that would be, and I think it kind of, there's a bit of a throwback to the days when manufacturers just sort of recommended tune-ups and basic oil changes as, as a maintenance schedule and didn't really think any further about other items like brake fluid. They just kind of forgot about it. So anyways, it doesn't matter what kind of, what maker model of car you have. I mean, it's, it all lives in the same climate. It all has the same fluid and it all needs to be flushed. So if you haven't had your brake fluid flushed, you need your uh, car operating at optimal performance, or you just want it to be safe, give Bernie a call 604-327-7112, book your appointment, or give them a call or check out their website, I'm sorry, at pollockautomotive.com. Thanks, Bernie. You're welcome. Thanks, Mark. Talk to you soon.